Welcome to 21st Sports Recap and Reaction for the Green Bay Packers versus the Chicago Bears Week 1 matchup from the 2015 regular season. We're going to go over the stats and the scoring summary and give our analysis. Let's start off in the first quarter. About nine and a half minutes left in the quarter. Gould hit a 28-yard field goal. That put the Bears up 3 to nothing. Then with less than a minute left in the first, Aaron Rodgers finds James Jones, who's newly returned. He had a 13-yard reception for the touchdown. Crosby adds the extra point, and the Packers go up by four with the score. Green Bay 7, Chicago 3. So in the second quarter... The Bears took back the lead with a one-yard run by Matt Forte about midway through the second quarter to make it 10-7 after Gould hit the extra point and put the Bears up by three. And that was an interesting, you know, set of downs there, especially when they got down by the goal line. looked like they scored, but then they brought it back, and they just kept getting opportunities, and then finally Forte got in there. And then with two and a half minutes left before halftime, Crosby hit a 37-yard field goal to tie the game up at 10 apiece. And then with less than 10 seconds, Gould hit a 50-yard field goal to put the Bears up 13-10 to going into the locker rooms at halftime. So in the third quarter, Rodgers finds James Jones for the second time this game. A one-yard touchdown pass, and with the extra point by Crosby, the Packers were back in the lead by four with the score. Green Bay 17, Chicago 13. So then with less than five minutes left in the third, Gould hit another field goal. This one a 44-yard field goal to bring the Bears to within one point with the score. Green Bay 17, Chicago 16. Then in the fourth quarter, less than five minutes into the fourth quarter, with ten and a half left to play in the game, Aaron Rodgers finds Randall Cobb, and here comes Randall. Five-yard touchdown. And now with the extra point, it would be 24 to 16 as Crosby hits another extra point, and the Packers were up by eight. And then with two minutes left, less than two minutes left after the two-minute warning, Eddie Lacy really puts the explanation point on this game with a two-yard touchdown run to make it 31 to 16 Green Bay as they took over in the fourth quarter. Of course. Now at this point, I mean, it's garbage time. They're down by two touchdowns. Cutler hits Martellus Bennett for a 24-yard touchdown with just over half a minute left to play. They go for the onside kick, and they were not able to get back into the end zone and recover. So it ended up 31-23 to Green Bay over Chicago. Of course, uh, Gould did hit that extra point on that final score by the Bears. So the scoreboard made it look closer than it really was. Is the Packers, although they didn't put up big numbers, they were in control of this game. Julius Peppers had a big day, one and a half sacks. He actually at one point had stripped the ball from Jay Cutler and he recovered the fumble. But upon further review, they saw that Jay Cutler's knee was down. So Peppers almost had a fumble recovery as well. And they were looking pretty good on defense. Cutler actually did have more passing yards than Aaron Rodgers, but they had the same amount of completions, and Cutler threw the ball 13 more times as he threw it 36 times, as they still seem to have an onus on passing, although the offense was a little bit more balanced, though, overall. But Jay Cutler, 18 of 36 for 225 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Of course, the turnover hurt them, whereas Rodgers, not a big production out of the yards with just 189 yards, 18 for 23, though, as he had a high completion percentage, and he had three touchdowns, and that's really what matters. Not so much how many yards you get, but if you get the ball in the end zone, and he did that, and he took care of the ball, as he's apt to do, so he actually did have big numbers in terms of touchdowns, three touchdowns, no interceptions although just 189 yards. Of course, Eddie Lacy was productive on the ground with 85 yards off of 19 carries. He had a touchdown as well coming at the end of the game there that shored up the win with less than two minutes. Rodgers also had 35 yards on the ground with eight attempts. And then on the other side, Forte had a huge day. I mean, he was in, like, beast mode. 
He had 24 attempts for 141 rushing yards and a touchdown. He also had five receptions for 25 yards. His forte was keeping them, you know, somewhat in the game. But in the fourth quarter, the Packers, you know, they turned it on. And once they got in control, that was pretty much it there in the fourth. And the Bears, you know, they scored that late touchdown, but it was too little, too late. And the leading receiver in the game was actually Alshon Jeffrey. He had been questionable heading into the game, but he actually had the most production by any receiver with five receptions for 78 yards. Wilson had two receptions for 59 yards, and Bennett five receptions for 55 yards, including a touchdown. But in terms of touchdowns, although Jones had less yards and receptions, he had the most touchdowns of any receiver as he had a big day with two touchdowns, although just four yards for 51 or four receptions, rather, for 51 yards. So he made his catches count. And Devontae Adams also had four catches, 59 yards. And Randall Cobb, five receptions, only 38 yards, but he did get into the end zone. And Rodgers, the tight end, three receptions for 27 yards. And Lacey, he also had another 14 yards off of two receptions as he was just one yard shy of the century mark in total yards as he had 99 total yards to go along with his one touchdown there on the ground. So Lacey had a pretty good day. And Rodgers, although they like said he didn't put up uh, you know big numbers in terms of yards, but he did have those three touchdowns. And Crosby was very impressive with the one field goal, but four extra points. And usually you wouldn't say extra points are impressive, but this year they are. It's they're essentially 33-yard field goals. Speaking of field goals, Gould was 3-for-3 three for, three for field goals as he was impressive as well, including a 50-yarder, and he also had two extra points to boot. So, I mean, there was some bright spots for the Bears, but really they were just outmatched by a much more talented Packer team. Of course, Clay Matthews coming up clutch in this game. He had an interception, six tackles. Palmer and Shields each had six tackles as well. Ha ha, Clinton Dix had five tackles. Julius Peppers, four tackles, one and a half sacks. And he did have that fumble uh, recovery, and he forced that fumble, but Collar's knee was down, so it didn't count. So, you know, but it, it was an impressive play nonetheless. And Peppers was looking really good out there in this game. And B.J. Rashi had a half sack as he got in on that one sack with Peppers. And we look at actually the total first downs. The Bears actually had more first downs in this game, 25 to 21. And they had almost twice as many third down conversions as they had 11 to 6 for the Packers. But the Packers, uh, 6 for 10. The Bears, 11 for 17. And then... uh, We actually, let's see, total net yards. The Bears had more, 402 to 322 for the pack. They had more net rushing yards, 189 to 133, and more passing yards, 213 to 189. And they also had more time of possession, 31 minutes and 52 seconds to 28 minutes and 8 seconds. But it was the defense, though, of the Packers that came up clutch. They bent a little bit, but they did not break. And then, of course, Rodgers came up clutch, and Lacey as well in the fourth quarter. You know, Rodgers connecting with Jones in the fourth quarter for their second touchdown of the game. And then Lacey, as I mentioned earlier, with that touchdown with less than two minutes left, that really, you know, secured the victory. They said the defense was shutting them down in the second half. Is uh, They let up 13 points in the first half, but just... 10 points in the second of course it was really that they were holding them to just three points in the second half until that late touchdown by the Bears after the game was already pretty much well in hand at that point I mean it did make it a one point you know one touchdown game a one score game but there was only 34 seconds left you know so it's kind of a garbage time touchdown there so the Packers actually were more impressive in this game like I said than the numbers indicated and basically it was a matter of the Packers just making the plays when they needed to and that's the type of team that Green Bay is they make the plays when they count when they need them in those clutch moments they come through and that's the thing with Chicago you know they don't have that same nature with Chicago they can make plays but then when it counts they seem to not make the plays and they seem to make mistakes 
And so the Packers win this one on the road. A big victory because it's in the division. A road victory in the division is how you win your division title. And the Packers are looking to repeat as North champions. And they're well on their way from the looks of things here. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. For the final score, Green Bay 31, Chicago 23. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and had a great weekend. And enjoy all the sports.